Hello, thousand PS fans. I'm here at the Lake Como at the Concorso d'Eleganza. It's one of the most exclusive old timer events in the world. And I'm here obviously with one of the most exclusive men uh, <laughs> with the biggest knowledge. Uh, he knows something about every bike, I guess. Um, is it right, Paul? D'Orléans? D'Orléans, yes, yeah? correct, that's perfect, yes. I've seen you last year and the year before, I yes. think, and the first thing I thought was, this is some eccentric art guy, fashion <laughs> guy, maybe. And then I saw you talking about every motorcycle in <laughs> detail, and I was fascinated. Yeah. So, finally, I can ask you everything about every bike. Anything you want. Um, can you <laughs> tell me something about your person, your, your story, your history? What are you ah. doing? Well, uh, I started collecting motorcycles in 1984. And, uh, you know, the reason I know so much is I was fascinated and passionate, but there was no internet, you know, in the 80s. So if you wanted to learn something about motorcycles, you had to, to read. So I started collecting magazines and I started collecting books. And over the next few years, I ended up with uh, like 3,000 books on motorcycles, which I read all. And I have a pretty good memory. So I retained <laughs> the information and my enthusiasm only grew over time. And uh, I started writing about motorcycles and about 10 years ago, I started my own blog, The Vintagent, and, uh, which is only about old motorcycles. But not just uh, technical, it's a lot about culture and history and the aesthetics and sort of the social forces that create a, a motorcycle. And uh, now I'm an editor at Cycle World and I write books about bikes and I get invited to incredible uh, events like this. And you're right, this is the premier concorso in the world. And, uh, you know, I'm super flattered to be yeah. here. Me too. <laughs> and uh, you, you said 1984 you started collecting and yep. the 80s were a very special time aesthetically for motorcycles. So what was your first motorcycle? Uh, my first uh, vintage, mo my first motorcycle was a little Honda 50cc just to learn. That was when I was 15, 79. And then four years later uh, I bought a BMW, a 1966 R60 and, uh, and then I bought a single cylinder BMW and R26 and then I bought a Norton Atlas and then I bought a Veliset and three, <laughs> 300 motorcycles later here I am today. <laughs> wow, wow. So I, I must admit some of the brands here I've never heard of. I yeah. mean I'm 38 years old and yeah. I'm more interested in modern motorcycles and you know 70s, 80s, yeah. around that. Yeah. Uh, what is this? Uh, so this is a Nomen Rhone. Uh, it's Nomron was an old uh, French aircraft manufacturer in World War I, and uh, after World War I, they took a license to make their first motorcycle, which was, uh, they, the design was by ABC, and ABC was the first flat twin, like a BMW, and, but this was 1918, so this is uh, five years before BMW existed. ABC was already making a, a flat twin like yeah. this. And, and I picked this bike to show you because uh, a lot of people look at this and think it's a BMW clone, but actually this design predates BMW existing and this, this is uh, sort of the flowering of their uh, production in the 30s. Uh, super Art Deco style, you know, with this pressed steel frame and this beautiful flat twin motor. And if you look at the castings, you know, and the, the chrome and the instruments in the tank, yeah, yeah. especially the chrome on the top and the handlebars, it's just, it's elegant. You know, yeah. this is a Concorso de Eleganza, uh, and this is like probably the most elegant motorcycle here. Yeah. It's fantastic. I am, excuse me, I am yeah. fascinated by this clock here, yeah. by yeah. Jaeger, I think. Yeah. It's an yes, um, eight day yes. movement. Yes. I mean, this alone would cost, I guess, about 10, 15,000 um, <laughs> No, uh, they're not so bad. Uh, big clocks like this, if you find them at a, a show, they're 1,000 euros for a really? nice one. Yeah, not so bad. But uh, this is particular because uh, generally these, uh, the bezels, uh, the, the glass mm -hmm. breaks, you know, and people replace them with smooth glass. So to find them with the original green bevel glass like this is super rare. Those are correct and original. That's the kind of stupid detail that we have to know for a Concorso. <laughs> and does every bike have to be 100% no. original? Or? Oh, 
if uh, better be no 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 uh, let's say it's a race bike with real history it could have had a new frame a new engine you know repainted fairing but you know if that's all part of the history then it's fine you know if, uh, it's really kind of depends on the bike if it's just a standard production bike like this if it's really really not original then yeah they won't be invited yeah. so these bikes are all invited to the show you can't uh, there's no one to write a letter and say please take my bike there's no application yeah. generally the organizer Stefan Knittel and uh, Fred Jacobs at the BMW Museum they know who the collectors are they know what they've got and they think what are our categories this year well this year is uh, pushing the envelope technically you know so that's this uh, particular category of six bikes and so each bike represents a sort of technical or aesthetic uh, advance mm. for motorcycling yeah. you're in the jury of yes. course and how do you judge i mean what are you looking for <laughs> on a bike ah uh, you you're know, not telling no 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 it's fine uh, so it's some combination of uh, what what makes a motorcycle compelling. What's what's really interesting about a motorcycle? Uh, let's say in this case, super Art Deco. You know, it's like a perfect Art Deco design with this crazy Bernardet sidecar with the little airplane fins at the back. It's completely charming. You know, in the cream, it's like fantastic. You know, let's but the and then you have this uh, HRD, world's fastest motorcycle in 1936. You know, and then you have this Majestic, which is another French Art Deco, and the Bomberland, which is crazy Czechoslovakian yeah. design. Yeah. But but for a winner in a category, you it has to have like a a magic mixture of technique and aesthetics, the way the motorcycle is presented. Um, I actually, for me, it's really important that they're used, you know, that they're ridden. Like this bike has a, a stone chips and there's oil in the frame and, you know, it's a little bit messy. But, yeah. And I'm not saying this bike will win, but <laughs> uh, it doesn't bother me at all that it's been on the road. Super okay. important, actually. Cool. So I'm very curious uh, who's going to win. And uh, I would really love to talk about another bike, if you will. Oh, sure. Okay. Yeah, okay. Thank you very much. Thank <music> you.